Hi everyone, uh, I am Madam Rosmaya. Uh, in this video, we are going to discuss on past year's STPM question on chapter 9, uh, Kinetic Theory of Gases. Okay, the topic is Kinetic Theory of Gases. So, this is the first question A. State two assumptions of the kinetic theory for an ideal gas. Uh, two marks. Okay, uh, there are altogether uh, six uh, kinetic theory of gases. Uh, you just mentioned uh, two of them to get two marks. Okay, we read all these uh, six theories altogether. Number one. All gases consist of a large number of atoms or molecules. Number two, all atoms or molecules are in continuous and random motion. Number three, the volume of the particles is negligible compared to the volume occupied by the gas. Number four, the collisions between particles or between particles and the walls of the container are elastic. And number five, the interaction between the particles are negligible except during collisions. And number six, the time collision is negligible compared to the time between collisions. Next question, B1. What is meant by the internal energy of an ideal gas? So, one mark only. So, for ideal gas, the internal energy consists of the total kinetic energy of the gas molecules. So, potential energy is not involved here because this is ideal gas. Okay, number two, uh, state two factors which affect the internal energy of an ideal gas. So, two marks for two factors. So, the answer is, the two factors are temperature. Number two, number of degrees of freedom. Uh, this you can get from the formula of the internal energy which is equals to the uh, half NFRT. Okay. F, uh, T is temperature and F is degree of freedom, number of degrees of freedom. Okay, next, uh, question C. The pressure P uh, exerted by an ideal gas is given by uh, P equals to 1 per 3, uh, rho is density and the uh, mean square speed. So, what is meant by the this symbol? Okay, this symbol is mean square speed as I mentioned just now. So, you just write... Uh, this one as a mean square speed of the gas molecules. One mark. Okay, number two. Uh, use the equation above uh, to derive an expression for the internal energy of an ideal gas in terms of the pressure and the volume of the gas. So, four marks. So, from this uh, equation, uh, we are going to relate this equation to the kinetic energy. And uh, from the question B just now, uh, the internal energy only involves kinetic energy, not the potential energy. So, we can equate this equals uh, to the kinetic energy. So, generally, the formula for kinetic energy is uh, half mv squared. So, you can write, uh, you can write as, as half uh, nm mean square speed. So, the m here means uh, 1 mass for one molecule so for the whole molecule you times the number of molecules so becomes nm so this is the kinetic energy uh, formula which is uh, also equals to the internal energy because potential energy uh, is not involved so half nm mean square speed so from this equation we are going to relate with the kinetic energy here and we can relate with the uh, density. Generally, density is um, mass per volume. So you can write like you can write as uh, nm per v. V is volume. Uh, m is mass for one molecule. So for the whole molecule times the number of molecules. So the density can be written as nm per v. And now you can compare these two uh, internal energy and the kinetic energy. Uh, in the uh, pressure equation. 
Okay. Uh, here got uh one per two or half. Here got no half. So therefore, you can write here as uh half times uh two because if you cancel this, you get one. So you it does not affect the equation here. So the whole uh the whole statement here, the whole expression here, you times half, then times two. So that it doesn't affect the equation. Okay, now uh, the bracket here is equals to the kinetic energy. So you can uh, relate these two equations. You can substitute uh, the bracket here as u. So the answer for p equals to uh, 1 per 3v remain the, the same and 2u. Eh? The bracket here is u. So this is the uh, pressure. Okay, in terms of uh, pressure and the volume. Okay, pressure and the volume. Uh, so, you just uh, rearrange the equation become internal energy equals to 3 PV per 2. Okay, cross multiply. You get 3 PV per 2. Okay, so that's the answer. You have 4 marks uh, for this answer. If you write full uh, steps uh, like the given uh, here. Okay, number three, uh, calculate the increase in the internal energy of an ideal gas uh, when it expands from volume 2.1 times 10 to the power of negative 3 meter cube to 6.6 .6 times 10 to the power of negative 3 meter cube uh, at constant pressure of 1000 kilopascal. Uh, so two marks, eh? Two marks. So increase in internal energy. To find an uh, increase in internal energy, so you can use this equation from uh, question uh, two just now. Okay, pressure is given, and then uh, volume is given. So you can use the equation here to get uh, the increase in internal energy. So continue from this uh, equation. You substitute p here hundred kilopascal convert to pascal and volume uh, 6.6 .6 times 10 to the power of negative 3 minus 2.1 times 10 to the power of negative 3 meter cube then divided by 2 so the answer is 675 joule so this is the increase in the internal energy for this volume and this pressure of the gas okay next uh, number 4 uh, determine the amount of heat to be supplied in the expansion above uh, 3 marks. So to determine the amount of heat, uh, you know uh, in, uh, increase in internal energy and the amount of heat and also pressure given and volume given. So therefore you can use uh, first law of thermodynamic. From the first law of thermodynamic, the amount of heat is equal to the uh, increase in internal energy plus the work done. So in increase in the internal energy is 675 Joule and the work done we can calculate from the pressure times the volume here. So therefore uh, the amount of heat equals to the internal energy plus uh, pressure times the volume. Okay, internal energy is 6 point, uh, 675 Joule Pressure is uh, 100 kilopascal, convert to pascal, and the volume is 6.6 uh, .6 times 10 to the power of negative 3 minus 2.1 times 10 to the power of negative 3. So the answer is 1125 joule. So this is the answer for uh, question 4. So you get 3 marks. Okay, that's all for the uh, question. One of the question uh, in essay part, eh, section C, uh, for the past year's uh, physics STPM. <music>